welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're back, kisses. So this is my first DIY video and I'm going to be showing you how to recycle or how to remake items just using the toilet rolls that you throw away each time. So instead of throwing them away, we're going to be making new things with them and they can be decor items either for yourself, friends or family members. And since we are in the month of being more eco-friendly, Earth Day and recycling, I thought this would be a fun DIY to share with you guys. And it's super simple. All you have to do is collect a lot of toilet rolls to be able to make this DIY. Get a few things. And without talking anymore, let's begin. For this project, you're gonna need either liquid glue or a hot glue gun, scissors, and something to measure with, either a ruler or a measuring tape. Some clothespin to be able to hold together the toilet rolls. And a plastic cover or a newspaper so that you won't get the floor dirty. But if you use plastic, just don't forget to recycle it. And you can either use some spray paint. I like gold and white, but you can leave it as it is in its original color that it's a light brown. And the most important, lots and lots of toilet rolls or it could be paper towel rolls. Okay, so I'm going to start with the measuring tape and I noticed that it is 10 centimeters. And since we're going to be cutting this, I'm measuring that I'm going to cut five strips. So to measure this, I'm going to calculate that I'm going to cut every two centimeters so i'm gonna mark that very lightly with a pencil and here we have all the little marks so before you begin you can start folding your rolls in half like like this and as you can see we get five strips we're gonna fold all the rolls in half And here you guys, I already cut up 10 toilet rolls. And here as you can see, I already gave it the form that I wanted it to be. So in a form of a plant, but you can give it any form that you like. It could be a flower or a plant like in this case. But like I said, there's many different ways. Okay, so from this step, it's super easy. All you're going to be doing is adding some glue and hold them together with clothespin. Like the ones I've done here. So as you can see here, we already put all the glue and the clothespin. So all we have to do is wait between 15 to 20 minutes to dry. I already took out all the clothespin and as you can see, it is well put together. And I'm going to use this beautiful metallic gold color to paint it. And I just spray painted in layers and very lightly. All we have to do now is wait about an hour to apply a second coat and I'm going to turn it around and spray paint it from the other side. So once it has dried after an hour, we can turn it around and we're going to spray paint it from the other side. And 
and here I have little Lynn helping me make another one. So as you can see, we made another one and for this one, I'm going to be using white spray paint. So as you can see here, I already added spray paint, so I'm just going to let that dry and then turn it over and add another layer of paint. And it was so easy to make and to me it looks super super cute and so beautiful. So that's it for this simple DIY. So what did you think? If you get to make it, you can use the hashtag Linsire and you can tag me on Twitter or Instagram. And if you haven't, you can subscribe to this channel or if you have other social media accounts, you can follow me everywhere with the same name, Lynn Sire. So if you have liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up and that lets me know that you have liked it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Kisses. She wants to be famous because she's always following me whenever she sees me filming. So here she is. <laughs> and here is little Mishy trying to drop everything from the floor. I mean from the table. Are you my assistant? Or is it little Mishy?